Tanzania. The land where people sail in the wilderness. From the Swahili coast to Mount Kilimanjaro. The Serengeti and Lake Victoria. Tanzania is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. It is a country where the souls of the people may just be more beautiful than the country itself. But there is a struggle hidden behind the beauty of this country. My name is Dr. Olivia Michael Kimario. I'm an ENT surgeon, specialized more at ENT. That means otorhinolaryngology, as the way we call it here. ENT which is where I am currently. At Mwanza, I am the only one. Currently, I am the only one. In Dar es Salaam, I know there is three, only three. Kilimanjaro, Arusha, counting the northern zone, there is none. You can see? So you find that they, when you count of the females in this, um, in this department, they are few. The country's health sector suffers severe understaffing, marked by an uneven distribution of healthcare workers between urban and rural areas, low productivity, and poor working conditions. Tanzania only has two working physicians for every 100,000 residents. However, educating future doctors comes at a high price, and thus, sacrifices are made. In a traditionally patriarchal society, these sacrifices, unfortunately, often come at the expense of Tanzania's young women. You know, when you think of that, eh, um, it's important having female in the field. It's very, very important. Do you think the thinking of a woman and the thinking of a man is the same? Females, um, the way we think, we have a lot of sympathy in ourselves. So what I'm trying to say is, the way we look into things as women, it's different as the way men look into things. When a woman decides to concentrate, they do wonders compared to male. Male sometimes they, they put themselves high, but when a female really concentrates, can do wonders compared to a male. That's something I really give a big up for females. I, I think uh, women, we are able Due to, I could say, you are first world, you know, and that's your third world. The first world, the way you are thinking is that you are thinking into action. The equality, men has to be equal to female. If a man can do surgery, why not a male, female do surgery? That's where you are, your world. Here in the um, third world, we think more of finance, you know. We normally like think, uh, if I be a surgeon, will I get a lot of money out of it or will it be less? How much will it support a family if I get into that field? A lot of people look into those points, you know? And when they see that, when I get into it and we compare to another job, that job is highly paid compared to this, then they will tend to go to the one which is highly paying. When you do the construction for this patient with cleft lip or sometimes cleft palate, you find that uh, you give them the happiness, you know. Mother tells you, you know, doctor, when you look at my baby, it cannot suck well. If I give food, sometimes it comes out. You know, I feel bad about it. But then you fix that problem. Then a mother smiles at you. What do you feel as a doctor? You feel a reward, you know. When you look at the body, when it's deformed, and then you make it nicely, you do it, you reconstruct it, they appear nice. It's a favorable part of me. That's the part I love about it, you know. Yeah. Okay. I think it was really good. Okay, thank you. Karibu. So